So my whole family drank ayahuasca, including my mom, my dad, and my two sisters. It happens as follows. So first I did ayahuasca and then I had my sister on the phone and she said, oh, I'm so heartbroken. And I heard already from my mother, she was not eating well. She was so in pain that she couldn't function normally anymore. And then I said, hey, you know what? I know something that will help you. At that point, I just had my own ayahuasca experience for the first time very recently, but it was so beautiful beyond my imagination that I thought you can only have a good experience, not knowing what is also possible. So I took her there and I can tell already this ceremony with ayahuasca healed her pain. Yeah, in one night, she changed over and overnight. And it happened like this. So she did no research about ayahuasca. I also did no research about ayahuasca. So she trusted her sister, me, on stepping into the ceremony. I just gave her some guidelines on how to prepare, what to eat, what not to eat, uh, to do a little bit of fasting before. Then we came to the ceremony. And as I said, I did not know that you could also struggle during an ayahuasca ceremony because I did no research. My experience was very easy. I just surrendered to this beautiful medicine. I traveled through the other dimensions and I changed overnight too. Well, my sister had to really heal herself from a broken heart. And then she had to struggle a little bit. The part that was giving her the suffer of uh, ending her relationship was a part of her ego and this part of her ego had to die. So sometimes you hear that they have, there is a ego death experience in ayahuasca. She had that. And that means only that we have an operation system and you can see it as if the ayahuasca is scanning your operation system and then it takes out the viruses from your ego that makes you suffer and you get more understanding on why certain things happen in your life and why certain things have to end, for example, but it also is making a new structure so you can have another perspective and you feel different. My sister had an operation in this way that that part that made her suffer had to die. So in her ceremony, she completely died and she was so afraid. Also, she was not eating anymore, so during the ceremony, she really wanted to eat, which is not allowed during ayahuasca ceremony, but she was so, it was exactly the mirror that she needed to have. Like, I want to eat, I want to eat, I want to eat. So they gave her a little bit to eat some fruits, and she also stepped out of the group because she needed more one-on-one -on -one guidance. And then she thought she would stay in this ayahuasca experience forever, she had to die and that was so intense for her and during her death in my journey later on when she was next to me in the ceremony i saw her dying so i learned that if someone dies like my sister she would stay with me but this was such an intense moment between two sisters our journeys became one and I also thought oh but if my sister dies I know she wants to be a mom will she have children then I got her children in my arms so I thought okay luckily she will be a mom and I also want to say she never died physically it was just only symbolically and after this ceremony she changed so much so my parents were asking how can you change overnight she was eating normally she was shining her face was different so the first moment she stepped into my parents house my parents were like hey you changed and in part two i will tell more about how my parents reacted and how they end up doing ayahuasca